maintains his place at the top of the order in white ball cricket. His partner is not Johnny Bairstow, it's not Alex Hales, it is the devastating Josh Butler. Hasn't got going this tour with the bat, and he's got a great opportunity this evening. That's the longest form of the game tonight, the shortest, most exciting form of the game. Here's Malinga. Hint of swing, and he's troubled Jason Roy just a little bit. Down the track, majestic. He's not going to hang around, let Malinga get that ball swinging. That has gone a long way. England are away, Roy is away in style. And watched. It was the dipping slower ball from Lassie Malinga, and Jason Roy has timed that beautifully. Oh, fantastic. That was just timed. That was technically perfect. 16 without loss after one. Straight down the ground. Didn't hit it out of the middle of the back because it sort of twisted in his hand, but he's got enough of it. Excellent! Just over the top. The pressure keeps being piled onto the bowler. He's only bowled two balls. placed wonderful batting from Joss Butler that's two boundaries two high-class boundaries where he's just timed the ball heaved away leg side that's just pure aggression don't need to get hit well he's just got hit this time he's through the honor. the Sara Pereira is a tall man but that was a long way over his head in the end. Not out the middle of the bat from Butler, but again, a boundary off the first ball, and a Ponzo is under pressure. Should be out, chipped and taken. And look at the difference, the difference in the speed of the delivery. We'll be relieved, Josh Butler. to give himself room, a little bit of grip. We saw that ball straighten down the line. And Bimal, he's got protection on those elbows today. It's a ball for 13, 41 for one. England have lost Butler, they've gained Hales. They're 41 for one after three overs and two balls. And Hales is away, first up with a gorgeous boundary through point. Hale sweeping, it's straight. Is it going down on the angle? Finger comes up, Hales looks to his partner. Angle it is. Did it straighten down the line though? That's the question. Umpire Vimala City thinks it did. Alex Hales gives it up. No joy from Jason Roy, so what Hales has to walk. Ponza does like to slide the ball on. But as we saw with Josh Butler, it gripped. I don't think that one did. And I've got a feeling that, unlike the Butler dismissal, that might have missed leg stump. Because it hits the front leg and then goes on to the back leg. You're dead if you're considering the back leg. But Hales has to go. Just a four rounds, 45 for two. England's captain didn't play in the last one-day international. And England were hopeless and rudderless without him. Before he goes into out, he's very good at that shot as well. He looks in great touch, the England captain. Reverse, and there's a mix-up, could be a run out at Morgan's end. Oh, out, 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 very good from Sandakan. No need for a review there, Morgan's on his way. Push for the catch, they wanted him to go for it. Great work, great work from the Sri Lankans. They're happy. Yeah, Morgan not happy with Jason Roy. He was waiting for the call. Are you coming, Jason? Well, it's Morgan that's going, and he's going back to the dressing room, 60 for three. This is high. This is seriously high. It should be taken, I think, at deep mid -wicket. Oh, dropped it. He's dropped it on the boundary. 
Now this is better. This is definitely better. It's gone the distance. It's a six. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> so this is high. Will this be taken? There is someone underneath it. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? This is Dasun Sharnaka. Now we're having a few drops of rain, I think, but see the thing is the craftsman's taken a catch and fielders have dropped two. Full toss. And that's his 50. The good way to bring up his 50. I just wonder whether the rain, you can see that on your screens, if that's just making life hard work for Kamindu. Winners don't like bowling with a wet ball. Slicing off an edge. Will this be taken? Mendes! He puts it down. England having some remarkable luck here. Now this is another one. This has gone over the line. That's six. Now this is back live. The hundreds up. Where will this, this go? Where will it end up? Oh! It's gone over the line for six. Now they're very confident. They're asking for a catch. Oh, this time. What happened there? I thought Rambo Martinez was looking to signal a wide. And then Dick Waller. Dick Waller, the wicket keeper, just insisted that it was a catch. Now let's see what happens here. Is he going to refer it? Got the death stare, Dick Weller out at the umpire, and then he said, gave the decision. Thank you. Outrage coming up, Jets. Okay, can you just uh, rocket roll? Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, can I have the on field umpire on camera, please? Rambo, uh, there's a spike when the ball passes the bat. Can you stay with your decision? You're on camera. Yeah. Jason Roy played nicely for 69, 107 for four. This is Stokes. It's cleared the line quite easily. It's gone all the way for six. That's even bigger. That is muscular from Moeen Ali. Into the seats. Gone. That was a bit of a heave across the line, but credit to the bowler who pushed that through. Change the tempo of England batting after the rain interruption, but silver strikes. And praising the elegance and the power when he held his shape, that was a, a little bit more agricultural from Moeen Ali, and he's played with his wicket, but that's an excellent hand. 27 off 11 to get England going after the rain break, 145 for five. That will do him some good. Hits it over mid on, gets the boundary. Stokes has a role to play here. Deep in his crease, slower ball. Mid on should come in and take this. Yeah, easy as you like. And Nalinga wins that battle with Joe Denley. In the slot, but Joe Denley threw the shot early. Relief, they hang on to one. Then leaves the man dismissed for 20. It's 173 for six. Oh, God. The shimmy didn't work on that occasion. Malinga is on a hat trick. He's all missed it. That's a full toss. That's hit off start. Yep, Lasit Malinga does it again. He gets a wicket. Big one off Stokes, who goes for 26. 173 for seven. 20 20 hat trick for Lasit Malinga. He's on another one. Up against Liam Plunkett. In 2017 on this ground, he got a hat trick, Malinga. Oh, he got it spot on there as well. No hat trick, but a smile. Yep, he will get a hit as well. A Yorker target those stumps. England have lost their eighth wicket. Brilliantly bold. A little bit of an inside edge. Trying to hit it straighter. Just keep going square of the wicket, Rashid. 
That's what's effective, but he's been effective. Five off three, 185 for eight. And he clips it away nicely. This time they will definitely come back for two. Gordon thinks about three. They shouldn't get in three there. Under an 87 for eight England finish. Both sides will be reasonably happy with that because at one stage it looked like England were going to get 200 plus. And you can tell from the body language of the Sri Lankans, those last three or four overs, they've dragged it back a bit. But 187 is still a big, big score. And Sri Lanka will have to bat seriously well to chase that down. Sri Lanka needs a big start. The openers, it's going to be a very good chase. A good crowd in here as well. They're expecting fireworks. Roshan Tikbala, Sal Mendes. Well, both did provide fireworks for their fans. This is a surprise from the England camp. Joe Denley, known for his batting as an opening batsman. Starts with a full bunger. Weller is probably the player that's impressed the most with the bat for Sri Lanka in the one day international series. Chomendez as well. Man with a hell of a lot of talent. Yeah. Bowled him. A little bit of drift as well. Joe Denley. The first over he bowls. He gets the first wicket as well. Two cautious for Salmendes previous ball he knew this one has to go big with a drift doesn't turn the ball goes straight and Kusal Mendes disappointed goes for one Sri Lanka seven for one bowled him uses his feet Joe Denley gets his second wicket and Niroshan Dikwala playing for spin again is everything and he's happy he must be saying Robert Key I can bowl leg spin Niroshan Dekwala goes for three Sri Lanka 16 for two Swabal tied nicely into the leg side waited for it picked his spot Straight back past him, that is excellent batting. Good, excellent shot, but oh, there is a man. There is a man right down at deep point. For a moment, I thought that Chandimal had got it, but he did. But down the throat of the man placed specifically for a shot like that. Yeah, and Alex Hales was very aware. He was on his move there as he went round left-handed. Hales started to wander off to his left and good cricket awareness from Alex Hales. He's dropped one or two in this series or in the white ball series in general, but he's taken that one. And chandimal has gone with the reverse sweep. Sri Lanka 49 for three. Nicely played, doesn't try and over hit it. Just timed, placed, and this is a good start from Mendes. Welcome to the attack, Moen Ali. He's been planted. Pakamindu Mendes straight over Long Arm's head. Oh, to add insult to injury, that's a wonderful shot for four. Pakamindu Mendes is putting on a show. Gets another go. He's seen it this time. He's taken it this time. Excellent from Rashid. Sri Lanka four down. Canny bowling from the leg break bowler. This is his format. He'd given up the rest of the game. A longer format. We're going to be seeing him play with the red ball, but this is his strength. He knows what to do. Coming to Mendes, though. 24 or 14. 77 for four. Very close. Wow. Butler and the bowler and the captain will have a word. It was very close and it was very full and very slow. They're asking. Okay, ball, ball pitching coming up, impact in line. 
And the wicket's hitting, Grandma. Uh, can I have the on field umpire on camera, please? Okay, Grandma, uh, you have to reverse your decision. I reckon umpire Rambo felt that that might have been pitching it outside leg stump. That's probably and possibly the reason he originally gave it not out, but an excellent use of the review system by England. Now 17 to De Silva, 77 for five. Goes high. Where has that gone? Well, oh, that's a six. The hundreds up. This is the time. Let's see where that has gone. Gone very far. Gone the distance. Back to back sixes. Now, that's not good. I'm talking about wickets in hand, they've just lost Dasun Sharnaka. Yeah, excellent from Plunky. He's far too early on the shot. Now he's under a bit of pressure in this over. Pereira had taken to him early on. Plunky comes back into it at the end. Dasun Sharnaka goes for 10. 110 for six. Pereira, <laughs> that's not a Yorker. That's gone the distance. Straight to the man at mid-off. That was not his role. He should be disappointed. Picked out probably the worst man to hit a simple catch to as well, Ben Stokes. He doesn't miss many. He's got big hands. He's an excellent fielder. Seven down now. Someone needs to support Pereira. He goes for two, 119 for seven. Done him, Yorker. That's his speciality, and he struck again. Aponso goes off the second ball. And he is facing the danger of running out of partners. Near the perfect Yorker, right in the block hole, middle stump. Well, well, Chris Jordan, a bit of pressure on him to deliver. He flies someone out, he just has one game to play. Only four overs to bowl, he does exactly what he's been asked to. Aponzo goes for naught, 119 for eight. Full toss, and finally he gets hold of that low full toss and belts it for six. 39 needed off the last over, 149 for eight, 50 for Tisara Pereira. Brilliant, brilliant from the Sri Lankan captain. Goes again, now that should be taken. Mid-wicket gets round and makes no mistake. Jason Roy does well and the Sri Lankan captain is gone. Tisara Pereira, a good hand, batted really well. Skewed a full toss from Dan Lee. Good knock. Dan Lee's happy. Got a wicket. His third. Sarapara. Captain goes for 57. Sri Lanka 156 for nine. Oh, bowled in. Joe Dan Lee does end up with four for. What an evening he's had. Best figures by an Englishman against Sri Lanka in T20 cricket. And it's been a convincing win from England. They win by 30 runs. And the blemish that was Tuesday night is well forgotten. And England's white ball cricket is back at its best. So there's the match summary. England batting first, 187 for eight runs for Jason Roy, Moeen Ali and Ben Stokes. And Sri Lanka in reply, 157 all out. Pereira with 57. Seven wickets between the two leg spinners of England. England win by 30 runs.